good everyone and welcome back to this American Civil War battle series and we're still doing a few battles in Shogun this is the battle of Fort Wagner or the assault on Fort Wagner uh, mostly significant because it's uh, w one of the units that take part in this assault which is the 54th Massachusetts which was the first regiment, the first ever regiment in in US history um, that contained black people or African Americans and it uh, in the regiment entirely was comprised of African Americans um, and so they were charged with attacking this fort, Fort Wagner uh, on Morris Isle Island which was oh here comes the artillery they've spotted someone in the fog the attack started very early in the morning and so one of the features in Shogun is that you can enable fog and rain and so on and it's not as derpy as in Napoleon or the others so to simulate the morning attack I put in fog and also uh, might cover the uh, Union troops as they try to advance um, so, as you can see here, the fort is mainly made out of sand, which is actually uh, historically correct. Most of uh, the... Uh, and that's why this fort was very successful, because a lot of the uh, bombardment was just absorbed. It wasn't entirely made out of sand, of course. They didn't make a sand castle and defend that. I think we actually have the... Yes, here we go. Here we got the African American Regiment. The 54th Massachusetts is marching up. Um, the regiment comprised of about 1,100 men. And to make the battle interesting, we decided to field all of them, or roughly all of them. So there's a thousand of them here, uh, split into four groups. And so my my opponent. Uh, which is a player, decided to push them up first. Uh, and that was sort of a mistake on his part to push them up a bit too early. But they're they're actually gonna do pretty well and the rough terrain here uh, has actually stopped a lot of uh, my artillery fire from being that very effective on the units, although here there's a few hits. I think there's gonna come one real nice on this one. Maybe it wasn't this one. It's gonna be hard to see. There's gonna be an explosive one coming straight into one of these units. I think it's this one. Maybe I missed it. It's hard to tell with this bomb. Isn't that one? Isn't that one? They're closing up on the fort anyway. So the, um, the fort was never actually forcefully taken, he, the confederates had to surrender it because of lack of water, which was due to the fact that the, uh, the fresh water supply or their own wells were poisoned by the both enemy and I guess friendly troops buried next to the fort that sort of seeped into the ground and made the water undrinkable or suit unsuitable for drinking so right here uh, I actually missed this and so the regiments there on the uh, ooh, that's actually a friendly fire there the regiments here on the what's the right actually I haven't got a regiment station here going to be a problem for us. Uh, not sure if the... yep, yeah, here we go. Some of the white regiments coming in afterwards in support. The naval bombardment getting in there. They did have a few ironclads uh, or monitors uh, out, outside the fort bombarding it as well. But since I said uh, as I said before, a lot of the uh, fort is made of sand, and so uh, 
So the port actually absorbs that fire. We can see a bit out of the fog here. You can see the troops lining up. But they're having a very hard time actually uh, attacking the port. Since we got the upper hand here. I believe the 54th Massachusetts is now going to go try and possibly do a bayonet charge up here. Yes, they are. Although I've been able to actually move one of the regiments up from there to actually take a position here. We've got a bit of a strange stand up here. They're just standing looking at each other. While the bay battle rages around. I, I can't remember that I missed this, I guess. And here they go, charging in. And a lot of the 54 players is going to be engaged in melee for a long time. We can take a look a bit on it. Uh, but there's going to be a lot more melee fighting along this. They've also pushed through air cannons. Uh, most of them killed. They're going to ra rally. Uh, there's more charges going on up here. But this is one of the, right here is one of the, it's hard to tell. If you go through the map, you can see that, oh, there's a lot of troops increasing now. A lot of the uh, kills are going to come down right here because of the situation here where we got fire coming in from multiple directions. Uh, doing this in fog was kind of maybe a mistake. I was hoping actually that the, uh, as the battle progressed that the sun actually would rise and it will actually rise uh, but will be at the very end and just there it will start to sort of burn away the fog. And so we have successfully held the center on the left. You can see there's a lot of Union troops lying dead out here from canister shot and musket fire. Uh, although over on my right we have a bit of a trouble, a bit of a problem. We still have a cannon here, which I was lucky enough to place one here in reserve, then can push canister if someone comes. And also we're remanning the cannons here. But the troops there are still engaged in melee fighting. The black troops, the African Americans, are doing very well right here. But it's, a, it's hard fighting, and you also have Confederate fire coming in. I'm gonna push more regiments here to cover this gap. Damn lily livered cowards! Tur General running, turns sir. up and starts shooting a bit, which uh, sends the uh, 54th off, but they're gonna be come back. They're gonna be able to rally and get back and try to do it. It's actually, they're already back. And they're gonna reclaim the banner up there. They stop for a bit. They're gonna stop to take the canister. Oh, they're they're inching their way forward. Looks as though they broke. Actually, there's another unit. Of, yeah, it's another another one of the units of the four moving into action. The artillery position isn't gonna really stand against them this time around. And they're going to be forced off. Meanwhile, the uh, other regiments are pushing up. And they're getting slaughtered all across the line. And they have trouble getting anywhere. They managed to uh, shoot down the crew on the cannons up there, as you can see. 
but they still have to deal with Confederate regiments firing down upon them from defensive positions. Most of the action now is going to go down here on the right side. I think the 54th has actually, yes, they've actually pulled off and pushed off the regiment that held here. And are now moving in to actually start rolling up the defense. But I still have the artillery here and I'm pulling one regiment off the walls to actually cover. And I think I might be able to, I think I'm sending one. I'm gonna send this one. Sort of didn't do anything throughout the battle. And it took a while for me to realize this. So I send them off to take a position then on the other side. Cannons routed. The general's gonna go come up to uh, rally the troops, try to get them back on the cannons to uh, inflict more cannons to damage on the 54th there. So I think it's part of 54th turning. I think we're gonna go around. If I remember correctly, we're gonna go around here. Um, possibly, now they're gonna line up to shoot actually. I think the sun is going up a bit, so we can see a bit clearer. But this was just the same when I played the battle, so it's very hard to tell what was going on. At the same time, it took a while before the troops were visible, so that's why I'm not pulling off as many troops uh, towards the right, because I'm fearing that there might be more actually hiding out there. And if I pull too many over here, he'll be able to march around over there. We've got some massive naval bombardment from Shogun going in here, actually blowing up a lot of my own troops there. Completely just, just throwing everyone to the ground. another one coming in and here's yet another one sending in in the charge so I'm gonna have to pull more and more troops off here but we see there's quite a few actually retreating now and a lot of these supporting regiments over sir, here is gone an entire unit is dead sir still an entire unit has died but with the reinforcements coming in here to aid in this struggle. I think this one is running away as well. This one isn't actually running away, it's actually pulling back. So this unit is going to charge. of the 54 and they're now getting pushed off the fort. One interesting thing that actually happened while I was reading about this battle was um, um, once the Union, once the Confederates actually left the fort because of the lack of water supply, um, the Union obviously went in and took over it and there was quite a bit of gunpowder still left in the bomb shelter. And so that was uh, obviously very good of capturing all that supply. But unfortunately though, too uh, drunk 
Union troops went in there and actually uh, accidentally light, lit it on fire, exploded the entire gunpowder store, uh, killing and wounding around 300 men that were stationed at Union troops that were stationed at the port. It's not very or an uh, ideal situation here. So I'm, I've been able to uh, send off my opponent's attack. Uh, and at this point I was thinking that battle probably was over, but he actually got one unit left that he forgot that he's gonna send up. And I'm gonna have a little bit of a surprise for them. And we're gonna see some very murderous fire for this poor single unit marching up now trying to do a sort of a last attempt, not even attempt really, sending one unit up straight into the center wasn't gonna do anything and I, I'm pretty sure he was aware of this in himself as well. The Union artillery throughout the battle hasn't been that um, effective, although at a few points, I think it was over here, this artillery, they actually lost a few pieces, uh, two pieces that were, but I'm guessing they were pushed during the charge and then one single cannibal sort of managed to get through there. We'll see how effective they were once we get into the, uh, the after battle screen. Lost back here. So far, it doesn't seem as though they've got any uh, any real damage, but pretty darn soon they're going to. I think he set them to charge, and so we're gonna open fire. Here. Oh yeah, this is just the first. They're gonna rally and then come back. And then... General? He said my general has fallen to... Some general has fallen. I'm not sure. Anyways, they're gonna rally and then we're gonna see... quite an astonishing attack. I believe they have rallied. They sent in for the charge. I believe they stood one guy over there. Right where the explosion happened. Maybe it was him. If I was you, I would go run home instead. I'm guessing there's about maybe 200 of them, maybe 175 or something like that left. And I'm pulling my force together and I'm gonna hit them in one volley just as they're about to uh, get up there. Moving in. And there we go. A bit of lag there because of the extreme devastation. Second volley there. Takes out even more. In the end, I believe no more than five of them make it off the field. There we can see six of them, I believe. Five now. So these five are the ones that make it off the field out of that regiment. And the Union, just to say, the Union had four killer pieces, and maybe five, I think, no, it's probably four, constantly bombarding throughout the battle, and I don't think we actually affected their, yeah, they had full pieces, 
They were never damaged. Constantly firing throughout the battle. And the effect, as you can see, are minimal. The last thing that we're waiting for right now is the general. The general's gonna charge up. Oh! And there he got shot. I actually missed that. But yeah, there we go. The general got shot down. As you can see, he's Japanese. It's kind of a immersion breaker there, but. Oh, you can see the bullets actually leaving there. You can catch the bullets just as they're leaving the muskets. Anyways, there we go, Fort Wagner. Interesting battle. Um, one of the uh, effects of this battle, I mean, capturing the fort obviously made it uh, made an impact, but um, the fact that the uh, African American soldiers did pretty well uh, convinced sort of the leadership that they should hire more. And so, um, I mean, it, it wasn't at totally um, like, oh, now everyone has can come in. There was still racism and so on. Uh, <coughs> but um, it obviously showed that, uh, unlike what I thought, the uh, African-American soldiers were actually pretty capable of um, doing military tasks. And so, of course... Um, in that, in that, um, the the manpower obviously increased for the Union. They were able to put, even though they were already outnumbering them, the Confederates they would outnumber them even more now. Uh, and as we can see, here, the battle took 20 minutes. Um, the Union troops lost more than two thirds of their force. They managed to kill a third of mine. Let's actually go into the statistics. My units, a lot of regiments here. Most of these, I'm guessing, are on the left side. They did not get that many that, uh, losses. And those with higher losses are the one on the right that actually gone into melee fight. It's more interesting actually looking at the um, the opponents here, and we can see Union Colored Infantry. Three of the Colored Infantry regiments are ranked as the top ones, and then I'm not entirely sure where the fourth one is. Uh, there. It, this one didn't actually do so good. But I think this was probably the first one that actually reached there. But it's in, it's an interesting battle. And if you have Shogun, it's definitely something... Um, I mean, the, the mod is very small. It goes very quickly. Some people have had trouble, but that's uh, due to the workshop. The, the How the workshop works. The workshop doesn't work, I should say. Um, it's buggy for some people, so some people haven't been able to, but if you're able to, it's it's always something interesting, something to switch it up for, from the other ones. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I will be seeing you for the next one. Bye!